This was a week to remember. The 55th International Paris Air Show once again focused on the key issues that are at the heart of the aerospace industry. And at the same time underlined that with 2,400 exhibitors, 155 aircraft on display, and visitors from all walks of life, there is no show to rival this one. We know it's the biggest air show, but it's not the issue. This is where passionate people and mesmerized people, whether they're professional or general public, come and enjoy aviation and space. One of the big themes this year, decarbonization. The latest aircraft already burned 15% less fuel, but works underway to make flying carbon neutral by 2050. New innovations include cleaner fuels such as sustainable aviation fuel. But there's much more for more efficient air traffic management, cutting flight times and lighter aerodynamic design structures and materials. Decarbonization is the fourth revolution of air travel. The first one was to fly, the second one was to fly safely, and the third one was to fly in mass. And now it's the fourth revolution of air travel, which is to decarbonizing aviation. The defense sector also had a prominent role, not just the aircraft, but the latest UAVs or drones, and all the technology powering them from cybersecurity to connectivity and AI. You can meet within those five to, to seven days whomever you want, industry, decision makers, nations, military. So it's a good place to promote your product and to exchange also within the industry partners. The beauty of having all the systems in the same place is ensuring that you can show the radar, you can show the electronics, you can show the communications, and then you can demonstrate that making all these guys work together. The space industry highlighted this year with a presidential visit, displays and talks, and a desire to get across that space technology is essential. About 10% per year, that is uh, the growth rate of space uh, today. Uh, so therefore it's really worth investing on one side, but also for strategic reasons to have space assets that are protecting our people and providing services for everyday life. The Paris Air Show attracted so many businesses, big and small, because they know they've saved months by meeting everyone here. Of course, this is a world stage and we like to show the world what has been happening in Portugal and at the level that we have achieved so far. The aerospace sector is trying to recruit more women. This year, schoolgirls learned about the amazing opportunities that are out there. I think that young people are not necessarily very au fait that the industry and the aeronautics offer possibilities. Aujourd'hui, une femme peut, peut faire tous les métiers. The Paris Air Show isn't just about business, contracts, jobs and innovations. Tens of thousands of people come here because they're passionate about the history of aerospace and about its future. Yeah, I really enjoy uh, this uh, salon. Well, the show is always amazing and this afternoon there are like five hours of air show, so it's insane. I'm more a fan of the space et euh, franchement, il y a de très belles choses à voir euh, en termes d'innovation pour l'avenir, etc., de l'aérospatial ou même de l'aéronautique. Ce qui m'intéressait, c'est vraiment de voir les produits, ce qui existe et ce qui se fait, et aussi les nouveautés, avec, euh, liées vraiment à l'environnement, etc. More than 300,000 people attended the Paris Air Show in all of what they saw and heard, but there's no room for complacency. You can expect an even more innovative edition at the 56th Paris Air Show. The groundwork is already underway. <laughs>